When David Livingston, the missionary pioneer, was working in Africa, some of his friends wrote him, I guess, from the Missionary Society, and they said this, we would like to send other men to you. Have you found a good road yet into your area? Like if there were no roads back then. Anyway, Livingston promptly wrote back, and he says this, if you have men who will only come if they know there is a good road, I don't want them. I want men who will come if there is no road at all. Look, none of us likes uncertainty. We like to know where the road is. We like, where, you know, we like to know how long the journey is going to take us. You know, we want to know if there's any like restaurants we can stop by and have a good meal on these roads. But imagine going into a place where you know the general direction, but there's no roads. I mean, the uncertainty would just be enough to drive some people crazy. And living with uncertainty, imagine if somebody said to me, Kurt, you have this rare disease, you have, bet you have between two months and 20 years to live. I, I couldn't imagine living with that uncertainty, just waiting, you know, for something to happen to me and, and just kind of being paralyzed by that uncertainty. And maybe you find yourself in an uncertain situation where you don't know what's gonna happen. And I really want to encourage you to take that uncertainty. I believe you can take that uncertainty and turn it around for something good. I believe uncertainty, like if we're certain and we put God in this little certain box, you know, and then everything we know about God has to fit in that box, and if it doesn't, we reject it. And we kind of hold on to that box with all our hands because that's our understanding of God. But once that box breaks open, we're into a world of uncertainty. But when we're uncertain, God suddenly becomes bigger. Suddenly God becomes more joyful. Suddenly God becomes, you know, a little God in a box can't help us, but a vast God who is out of the uncertain box can. And, uh, you know, even the Apostle Paul, he said, for we know in part, we prophesy in part. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully. And here's a guy that wrote a third of the New Testament, but yet he didn't know everything. He wasn't certain about everything. God, in many areas for him, was uncertain, but yet he loved God, yet he followed God, yet he saw God as a vast, huge person that loved him so much. And even if you look at, you know, Abraham, I think real faith, you know, has more to do with uncertainty than certainty in some respects. For example, God asked Abraham to leave everything that he knew to, and to go to a land that he, didn't, he wasn't even sure existed. You know, so Abraham in his journey really battled with doubt, with uncertainty, but yet he loved God and yet he believed in God and it was credited to him as righteousness. And Jonathan Fields wrote a book called Uncertainty, Turning Fear and Doubt into Fuel for Brilliance. What would happen if we eliminated, you know, uh, uncertainty from our lives? And I want to leave you with just a couple of quotes that really helped me. And it says this, in eliminating uncertainty, we kill our shot at brilliance. Or how about Pablo Picasso? Picasso, I am always doing that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. Or how about Ray Bradbury, the great science fiction writer? Living at risk is jumping off the cliff and building your wings on the way down. Or how about another quote? Often we expect and want every day just to be like today, even though we're not satisfied with today. We settle for security instead of discovery. And nothing will ever be attempted if all objections must first be met. So I want to encourage you, if you're in an area where you're not certain about things, you know, ask God to convert that uncertainty into a trust for Him. And folks, we don't have to know everything. God is so vast, God is so big, don't let anybody put God in a little box for you, you know, and monopolize God and tell you what God is like. But the uncertainty, you know, is something that we can embrace and that we can see as a friend as instead of our enemy.